morning everyone. Today, I'm going to report in Chapter 7, Internet and Wireless Technology and Telecommunications. The learning objectives of the chapter are the following. What are the principal components of telecommunication networks and key networking technologies? What are the different types of network? How do the internet and internet technology work and how do they support communication and e-business? What are the principal technologies and standards for wireless networking, communication, and internet access? Internet and wireless technology and tele telecommunications. A problem is encountered such as an efficient manual process, large production environment. The solutions, the solutions proposed are track components in real time optimize transportation and expedite communication using Wi-Fi networks. A Wi-Fi network is simply a internet connection that is shared with multiple devices in a home or business using wireless router. RP technology radio frequency identification is composed of two components namely the reader and the tag the reader is a device that has two or more antennas that emit a radio waves and receive signal back from the RP tag. Mobile handles such as mobile phones, smartphones, digital media player, mobile computer, and other handle devices. Material inventory track software is a software used to track inventory levels, sales, and deliveries. It demonstrates the use of technology in production supply chain to increase efficiency and and in internet and wireless technology and tele telecommunication, networking and communication trends convergence. The telephone networks and computer networks converging into single digital network using internet standards. Convergence is a one network provider delivers networking services for voice data and video in a single network offering instead of a separate network for each type of services. Broadband is a high-speed internet access which provides higher speed of data transmission. In the U.S., more than 74% of internet users have broadband access. Broadband wireless voice data communications are increasingly taking place over broadband wireless platforms. Broadband wireless is a high-speed internet and data services <coughs> through a wireless local area network and wireless wide, wide area network. Continue the internet and wireless technology and telecommunication. Next is the computer network. It is two or more connected computers. The major components in simple networks are the following client and server computers, network interfaces, connection problem, a rather connection medium, network operating systems, hub switches and routers, software defined networking, SDN, function of switches and routers matched by central program. Major components in a simple network. Client is a computer running the program. The server is the computer that provides network resources and provides services to other computers. Network interface is the point of interconnection between the computer and a private or public network. Connection medium for linking network components can be telephone, wire, coaxial cable or radio signal in the case of cell phone, and wireless local area networks. The major components in a simple network, the network operating system is a computer operating system that is designed primarily to support workstation PC and in some instances a traditional 
terminal pieces. Next is the hub switches and routers. Routers needs at least two networks to connect. Hub is cheaper as compared to switch and router. Switch is an expensive device. Under the network operating system is the software, the, the relationship between the network resources and users. There, there are two primary parts of most network operating system. As you can see in the diagram, the network operating system is consists of a server and then the connecting device, the client. Components of a single computer network. A single computer network is a group of interconnected nodes or computing devices that exchange data and resources with each other. So, as illustrated here, is a very simple computer network. Consists of computers, network operating system residing on dedicated server computer cable wiring connecting the devices network interface carrying switches and router the components of networks and key networking technologies and networks in large companies are consists of hundreds of local area networks linked to firm-wide corporate network, various powerful servers, and websites. The it includes the related web pages under a single domain name. The corporate intranet is the private network used to secure company info and resources among the employees and the extranet is a private network for third parties like suppliers, vendors and other third parties. Backend system is a structure or setup that runs and support the corporate backend applications. Mobile wireless LANs, Wi-Fi networks. Mobile user can connect to a LAN through wireless connection. Video conferencing system. An example of this is the Zoom application, uh, Google Meet, High Pipe, Townscript, and other video conferencing app. Telephone networks, the wireless cell phones. Here is the corporate network in its infrastructure. A corporate network infrastructure is comprised of hardware and software system and device drivers, and it, it enables computing and communication between users, services, and devices. Here, as shown in the this slide the telephone service provider it aids the telephone system and the mobile phone smartphones the internet is the provides the internet connection as well as the wireless internet connection then here you can see the mobile Wi-Fi network the corporate wireless wireless LAN and the servers, corporate website, intranet, and extranet. Next is the components of networks and key networking technology, key digital networking technologies, client service, client server computing, distributed computed computing model, clients leak through network control by network server server computer. Server set rules of communication for network and provides every client with an address so others can find it on the network. 
has largely replaced centralized mainframe computing. The internet is the la largest implementation of client server computing. To continue the components of network and key networking technology, the, under that is the packet switching, the method of slicing digital message into parcels, sending packets along different communication paths has become available and then reassemble packets at destination. Previous circuit switched networks required assembly of complete point-to-point -point circuit. Packet switching more e efficient use of networks communication capacity. Here is the diagram of packet switched networks and packet communications. Data are grouped into small packets which are transmitted independently over various communication channels and reassembled at their final destination. Next is the TCP, IP, and connectivity. The protocols the, is, are the rules that governs transmission of information between two points. Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol TCP IP is the common worldwide standard that is the basis for the Internet. The Department of Defense reference model for TCP IP is consists of four layers. The application layer, layer, transport layer, internet layer, and network interface layer. Here is the TCP IP reference model. Uh, the layer 1 is the net network and it handles physical infrastructure such as internet cables, wireless networks, device drivers. The layer 2 is the internet layer, controls the flow and routing of traffic of the internet. Layer 3 is the transport layer provides a re reliable data connection between two communicating devices. Layer 4, layer four is the application layer. It's a group of application that application layer is the group of application that the user use to access the network. Different types of networks, uh, signals, digital versus analog, modems translate digital signals into analog forms and vice versa. Types of networks, local area networks, the LANs. Internet used to connect devices in a network, client server versus peer to peer, wide area network, WANs. It's a large network, information network, like not tied to a single location. Metropolitan area networks, MANs, uh, connect multiple LANs across a large area but is smaller than wide area networks. Campus area networks, CANs, is a computer network that spans uh, in a limited geographical area. Here is the picture of the functions of the modem. Modem is a device that translates digital signal into analog form and vice versa so that uh, computers transmit data over analog networks such as telephone and cable networks. Next is the different types of networks. Physical transmission media, twisted pair wire, cuts, coaxial cable, fiber optics cable, wireless transmission media and devices, satellites, cellular, cellular systems, transmission speed, bits per second, PPS, hertz, and bandwidth. Next is the internet. The internet is the world's most extensive network. 
the internet service provider ISPs provides connections types of there are types of internet connections such as dial ups 56.6 kbps digital subscriber line DSL the 385 kbps to 40 mbps cable internet connection 1 to 50 mbps satellite T1 T3 lines 1.54 to 45 mbps after that is the internet addressing and architecture each device on internet assign internet protocol IP address 32-bit number yung like this one 207.46.250.119 the domain system or DNS converts IP address to domain, domain names. Higher higher article structure, top level domains. Uh, the domain name system is a phone book of the internet. Users access information online through domain names. To continue the domain name system, here are the example of the domain name like sys.google.com, computer1.sys.google.com. The domain system is a hierarchical system with a root domain, top level domain, second level domain, and host computer at the third level. Internet arch architecture and governance, the network service provider, have their own trunk lines, high speed and backbone networks. Regional telephone and cable TV companies provide regional and local access. Professional organizations and government bodies establish internet standards. These organizations are the following the IAB Internet Architecture Board, the ICANN Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, W3C World Wide Web Consortium. Here is the Internet Network Architecture. The Internet Backbone connects the regional networks networks which in turn provide access to internet service providers, large firms and government institutions, network access points, and metropolitan area exchange are hubs where the backbone intersects regional and local networks and where backbone owners connect with one another. Next is the net neutrality. Net neutrality is the concept of an open equal internet for everyone regardless of device, application, or platform use and content consumed. Proponents of the idea believe all corporations, including ISPs, internet service providers, should treat internet data and users equally. The concept underlying in net neutrality is that the ISP should provide access to online content regardless of its source or destination. Without neutrality, net neutrality, ISP could demand that individual websites pay to have their sites shown to customers. Next is the future internet IP, V6, and Internet 2. IPv6 is the new addressing scheme for IP numbers. will provide more than a quadrillion new addresses not compatible with current IPv5 addressing. Internet 2 is an advanced networking consortium. It developed high-capacity 100 GPPS testing network and testing leading-edge new technologies for the internet. And that's all for my report. Here are my references and thank you for